Hey everyone, welcome back to a new day. What we got to on the last episode was the uh, X carriage and Z axis gantry. Uh, we're just going to continue building on the sides, adding the ball screws, and just generally assembling the CNC. Um, so stay tuned and we'll carry on with the build. So what I've done now is install the uh, ball screw mount, ensuring that the um, the mounting for the ball nut actually is the right way around for the motor mount. So the design doesn't have a left and right as per the Route 4 who has a FK and FF side. Both of these are identical in this case as we've got our own custom um, floating side idler that we've got a bear in him. So we didn't need to have to have the special bearings. So with this I want my motor be, to be mounted on the left hand side. So this is now the left. My ball screw will have to mount that way around. So I've got the mounting that side for it. We've also uh, installed the uh, Z-axis motor mount. Um, you might have noticed I used some um, like dome head, cap head fellas and some bigger ones. Um, just using what I've got in stock. But I believe the uh, inner ones need to be quite shallow, uh, these ones, because I think the motor has to go as far forward as we can with the belts I've got in stock. But it's got quite a long uh, travel so we can accommodate different size belts as and when. Hopefully it should be the same belt length as the one on the Route 3 light. Um, but I've not had much success buying belts in the past, so I've got a selection that I can choose from. So yeah, this is where we are. We'll carry on going. Oh, another thing to note, I'm not putting the uh, Z axis carriage on just yet. Now, this is because um, the mount has end stops built into it that we need to wire um, to. And at the moment, because I haven't got the drag chain installed, um, nor the rest of the machine together, uh, I'll wait until that's done so we can kind of roughly mock up how long the cable needs to be so we can solder to the uh, end stops. And then once that's done, we can then offer that up to the machine, that way around. Right, so what we've done is installed the side panels using some M3 by 25 millimeter long uh, bolts with some large penny washers on the side. Uh, likewise for the motor driven side, done the same, uh, but got the uh, drag train mount installed as well. So that should loop round, oh, hang on, let's get it right. That'll come off here, loop round, and then connect onto this side. So yeah, what we'll do now is I think the ball screw for this axis. Yeah, why not? So there's our bearing block for the ball screw. Now this mounts on the inside and gets sandwiched by the uh, X axis motor mount and then the idler will go in. There is a bit of an order to do this so you don't trip yourself up.
So ideally now you would insert the sir clip on the end of this um, shaft, but um, I haven't got any. So it is needed because this is a floating side. You don't want the bearing to work its way off and this side of the ball screw to be unsupported. So what we've done is install the bore screw for the x-axis with the floating idler and as you can see it doesn't require that sir clip that's missing at the moment I'll have to buy one of them uh, nicely mounted with some easy access from the rear we've also include uh, installed the uh, fixed side bearing with the motor mount I'm not going to put the motor on just yet because I'm going to wait for um, the wiring to be kind of installed I don't want the, the weight of the motor swinging around with the loose cables so that'll go on later, but yeah, that is a finished X gantry, and it's solid as well, so it feels really good. All right, I think we'll move on to the uh, Y axis and get that mount onto the baseboard. Looking good. So whilst I'm here, as per the other builds, you can run a cable through the center of the box section. I don't know if you can see that in there. Trying to get the light right. Um, this is gonna be for the probe and any um, gerbil control buttons like a start, stop, reset, or a macro button. So hopefully I'm gonna run this cable through uh, the tube and we'll have it coming out the front. This is just cosmetic more than anything. Now most people don't realise what these are when they come to print the parts, but uh, these are feet uh, to go on the underside of the baseboard under there, um, and they mount into the box section, uh, mounts over here. So um, yeah, when you uh, when you come across these, they to go on the other side of this um, wasteboard. Now what that does is space it off from the desk a little bit, so if you do screw anything in, there's a little bit of a gap for that the um, bolt to take, accommodate. And also it means um, you won't scratch your floor, uh, your workbench too much. So I've got some uh, M3 bottles in these long bolts here. So the memory card on the camera filled up and it's probably a good point to stop. 
and call it for this video. I think we've done some good progress on making the X carriage uh, and Z carriage assembly all in one. So this is ready to be mounted onto these uh, Y axis rails that mount to the baseboard. So yeah, it's looking really good, nice and solid. So stay tuned for the next instalment where we'll start bringing the Y axis Y axis together on the uh, baseboard and then mount the gantry. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks. Bye.